Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we did Darkseid's Breakdown Row while permanently crouching, which was impressive. <laughs> this time, we're going to be doing Darkseid's Invisible Road while crouching, which is one of the other capitalist sub-areas that this kingdom has to offer. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, because this one happens to be based fairly heavily on combat, uh, we're going to throw Cappy over here, and... Cappy! Get the life up hard. Then we're going to head down there. Uh, I think it's interesting. Um, Breakdown Road is hard because you can't capture. This one is hard because you can't use Cappy for combat, rather than as a capturing friend. And the last one I think is hard because you don't have cap bounces and stuff. Um, so they've sort of covered all of Cappy's abilities and shown, like, demonstrated why she's so great with a whole bunch of different things, which is cool. Oops. <laughs> I, I was trying to throw into the... Oh my god. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, that doesn't bode well for our run. Um, I'm just going to make my way back down there, get the life up part. So yeah, um, Breakdown Road was one of the B-side sub-areas in the Wooded Kingdom. I believe Invisible Road is also from the Wooded Kingdom. Uh, as far as I know, it's completely unchanged. Uh, in this, um, Breakdown Road was a little bit different. Those lower blocks aren't actually there normally. But this one, I think, is just completely unchanged, except that you don't have Cappy. Uh, so let's get the life up hard again, because I fell down. Cappy! Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's the one down here, uh, next to the Yoshi pipe that we went through a while ago. There we go. As you might remember, this one was based around these poison piranha plants, which have covered the road in their poison. Uh, so you can just kick boxes over to them like that. Not boxes. What are these things called? Rocks. And then just do a long jump like that to get across. Uh, normally you would just throw Cappy at them to stun them, uh, because she gets caught in their mouth. But obviously we can't do that because we don't have Cappy. Uh, to get the two moons, we have to go over to that area there, just the same as before, and also we have to defeat the three big piranha plants. I don't think we need to defeat the small ones, but I'm doing it anyway, just so they're out of my way. Just trying to kick the rock the other direction, but alright. Uh, yeah, this, this poison does not insta-kill, but it does give you a lot of knockback and deal some damage if you touch it at all. So it's kind of, kind of dangerous. As you can see, we're not doing so well. Uh, bopping the piranha plants does clear some of the poison, but because you don't have Cappy, you can't clear the rest of it, which is a bit of a problem for us. Oh, oh my god. Uh, normally you could also grab these rocks in order to throw them, but you can just kick them instead, and that seems to work just about as well, so not too much of a problem, really. Oh dear. Uh, I could use a life up part to try to heal here, but... I think I'm going to try to go, over for, go for that moon over there and see if I can reach it first. Uh, again, the platform over here is completely invisible, so you got to be careful. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that one's much, much easier than the other invisible road moon, of course. Uh, because you don't have to do the main combat part of the area, basically. Uh, okay. Hmm. We're going to need to jump onto that platform, obviously. Uh, oh god. I think if we stand back like this, we should be okay to avoid that poison. I don't think it fires far enough. So I'm just going to stay put for now. And then when we get over to that next platform, I'm going to probably do a backflip dive to get over. Oh no! Okay, okay, well... We reached the main platform, so that's something, but we're nearly dead, so that's also something. Uh, these piranha plants are also poison spitting, so you got to watch out for that. And they don't drop any hearts. They do drop some coins, which is kind of cool, I guess, but unfortunately not anything particularly useful, such as hearts. Uh, okay, we're actually doing better than I expected here. Um... Oh no! Uh, I backflipped too close and hit it from below instead of jumping on it. 
Alright, uh, I could use, uh, I'm gonna use an amiibo to heal at the beginning here. I wanna try to do the main thing without the amiibo, but just to save time, instead of going out, I'm gonna use the amiibo at the front here to heal. If it'll work. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we have to get to the three big piranha plants. I don't think we need to kill any of the small ones. If we do, we might have a problem, because I actually skipped one of the small ones before, and I'm probably gonna keep trying to do that. Uh, we'll see. So yeah, you want to use the rocks as much as possible, basically, because the rocks stun the piranha plants and let you just kick them rather than having to deal with their actual attacks and stuff. There we go. Uh, the fact that uh, you keep rolling after doing a long jump is causing a bit of a problem here because we're going to just roll into poison, as you've seen a couple of times. Uh. There I used the stun time from, from the poison itself in order to do a regular jump and make my way over, uh, which is an interesting trick that does work for whatever reason. Uh. There I used a ground pound jump. Uh, which is also a valid trick to do sometimes. I'm going to back up here, try to roll from a distance. There we go. Okay, so we're now in the bit with the big piranha plants again. Uh, we've taken out all the plants on the way this time, so if you actually do need to do that, not a problem, because we did. Uh, ow! So you just want to put their mounts down by spitting, and then you can backflip on top of them. Okay, um, I pulled this off in just a few minutes, so maybe I should have done this in the same video as the previous one. It's okay, I'll just do a short video, it's not a big deal. Uh, you can't fall off the edge here, fortunately. Like, that goes all the way to the edge, so... You can't accidentally roll off as you're trying to grab the moon. Okay, so that one was easier than I anticipated. Invisible road, not a big problem. Uh, it's done, and that leaves two moons, which I'm very worried about. <laughs> uh, but that's what we'll be doing in this video. This is going to be a short video, I think, because this road was much easier than I anticipated. Uh, hello, rabbit. But yeah, so there's one more sub-area left in this kingdom. Once we manage to clear it, we'll have cleared the dark side completely. That sub-area is over here. Uh, it's down there. Uh, but we won't be doing it in this video, we'll be doing it in the next one. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a life apart. I don't need one. Cappy! There's not really anything that will damage you in the last invisible, in the last, um, challenge road, but we're gonna just use it anyway. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Just doing a short one this time. Uh, the next one will probably be quite long because the next challenge area is very, very hard. Um, especially with our restrictions. Actually, I should probably go cash in these moons. This is the wrong way. <laughs> you can't reverse on a power line, you can uncapture, but then I would fall, so I don't want to do that. Uh, the Odyssey's back up there. Okay, I'm going to take these moons back to the Odyssey and cash them in, and that'll be the video. Uh, and then we'll actually be done in this kingdom, which is kind of exciting. Uh, the dark side proven possible while entirely crouching, or permanently crouching, whatever it is I keep saying. <laughs> you know, my, my catchphrase that I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so those are the two uh, invisible road moons. Bam! There we go. <sighs> and in the next video, we'll be trying for the last two moons here. Thanks for watching!